Good morning. Welcome in. Hope you're doing good. Coming up on Labor Day weekend here in the United States, it's kind of the um, unofficial end of yacht rock season here in the States. Um, some people are probably pretty heartbroken over that. This is going to be a contest entry video for Alex Motorik 247, or is it 247? I'm not sure. Um, he's having a 200 subs contest. If you don't know Alex, um, really nice guy. He seems to be a really nice guy. He could be, could be really putting on a hell of a front. Um, Well-spoken, shows a lot of um, cool records, all different kinds, jazz, kraut rock, ambient, experimental, avant-garde, etc. cetera. Um, also likes good beer. I saw in his last, not his last, but one, one of the recent videos, drinking Ballast Point. Is that right, Ballast Point? I think it's Ballast Point, uh, San Diego. He's in, in Los Angeles area, I think. But he was previously in Chicago. So I think he's from Chicago. Um, so I wanted to do Chicago beer, and I, but I couldn't find, I, I didn't have time to appropriately procure a decent beer from Chicago. So I'm slumming it a bit here with the uh, standard run-of-the-mill Goose Island IPA. This is everywhere. Everybody knows this. Hoppy, grapefruity, refreshing. All right, so for this contest, and I've seen a few videos, I don't feel like anyone's really following these rules. And I will say, Alex, don't feel obligated <laughs> to stoop to saying douche in, in your video. So, you know, you can choose to include me or choose not to, and I'm not gonna, not necessarily following the rules, so that's fair either way. What he was, what he had indicated as being the contest was to show five kind of desert island jazz records or your top five jazz records, excluding Coltrane. Um, I didn't really do that. I kind of just grabbed some like stuff out of the listening stack. And I was thinking about it. Would any of these be <laughs> Desert Island Discs? Um, certainly some of the artists. Some of the artists would be. And you know, no John Coltrane. I did not do Miles Davis. Um, there was a couple of those in there and the, in the listening stack. And then there were... It's like um, Bobby Hutcherson. I think I have like the worst Bobby Hutcherson records. I'm trying to think of the name of the one. Natural Illusions. Anyway. I'm pretty much just gonna show five jazz records. And then we're gonna have a couple beers and then move on. So again, five jazz records, nothing, nothing crazy. If you want to see something crazy, go check out Alex's channel. Link will be below in the description to his um, contest video. And from there you can subscribe, which I would encourage you to do. Lots of cool records, blah, blah, blah. So this is like a 2017, Thing, an unearthed 1959 recording for the 1960 film, which can I, I can't speak, for the 1960 French film, and I can't speak French. How do you even say this? Le Liaison Dangerouses, <laughs> 1960. Um, so these were found, who's, I think in Barney Weiland's um, house, they found these um, tapes 
and then wound up releasing them in 2017 like this. I love this cover. So yeah, Thelonious Monk. They're, um, I guess at the time, they recorded this in 1959 in New York City. He did not have time to um, compose anything specifically for the film. So he took, you know, things out of his songbook or his catalog and did reworkings for the movie. I don't recall why it was never released. I don't know. But I would say it's really good for what that's worth. This insert. This is just um, there's a lot of words. This is just. Uh, I think there is a more deluxe version. That's just a regular. This is probably still available. If and if and you want to look for it, it's Prestic. QRP, blah, blah, blah. So I kind of did these in chronological order and there's a little bit of, a little bit of variety maybe. This is from 19, this is 1963 release of a 1962 session. It's Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers Caravan. This is his first release on Riverside. You've got, uh, Freddie Hubbard, Curtis Fuller, Wayne Shorter, Cedar Walton, and Reggie Workman. It's a really, uh, really solid hard bop record. This is, uh, you won't be able to see, but it's like a Japanese reissue from 75. And it has the insert with more words as you would expect. And it's on this Riverside. Anyway, very nice record. Next from 1971, this is the debut LP from uh, the Belgian group Placebo, or band, group Placebo, Ball of Eyes. This is obviously not 1971 press, and this is like the music on vinyl. This is a really rare soul jazz fusion record led by Mark Mulan, Mulan, Mulan. Um, so you got two covers, Marvin Gaye's Inner City Blues and Sam and Dave's You Got Me Humming. And then, what, five, six, six, uh, six originals. It's very good. Am I taking that desert island? I, I don't know about that. But it's good. A little funky, a little soul. Groovy stuff. Next, we got a live album from 1972. Pharaoh Sanders, Live at the East on Impulse. This has a price tag, $2.25. Found this, I don't know, like five years ago. It's not in the jacket's not in immaculate condition. The record is pretty good though. So the, I, and I take it, the East was like a club. So this is like um, live recordings in a, in a club setting. So a kind of intimate setting. You've got um, an amazing lineup. Stanley Clark, Cecil McBee, Norman Connors, Billy Hart, et cetera, et cetera four tracks. People know this stuff. Good record. It's on this, I think. No, I can't recall if this has been reissued.
last one is a reissue that came out a couple of years ago again. This is Joe Henderson. This was originally released in 1973 on Milestone. It's got a great lineup. It's called The, the Elements. I've seen people show originals of this. I've never seen an original of this. But, um, so you've got Alice Coltrane, Michael White, Kenneth Nash, and Charlie Hayden. And it's called The Elements, and there's four tracks, and it's fire, air, water, earth. You've got, um, it's kind of avant-garde fusion. There are African and Eastern influences in the instrumentation. I guess it's it's not super crazy, and maybe that's, um, I think some people buy this and they're expecting it to be a lot crazier than it is, but I think it's still a really, really strong album. Anyway, Joe Henderson, 1973 on Milestone. This is the one that was on, what is it? Jazz Dispensary. Nice pressing. On stone. So that's it. So again, check out uh, Alex's channel, Motoric247. He does a lot of different things. Uh, one thing that I really like is he occasionally has, because he has two turntables with a mixer. And so sometimes he does these, um, I think he calls them live playlists, where he mixes samples and shows the records. Really enjoy those. Um, but yeah, congratulations again. And appreciate it. Cheers. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> Bye.